gonna tell me where you went All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my Hello my stars, welcome to my channel Goddess of Stars Tarot, it's your girl Karen and I am so excited to welcome my Aquarius back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I do want to let you know this is a general love reading. This reading may or may not resonate with all of my stars, so take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Also the energy or the roles in my readings may be reversed or interchangeable, so apply yourself as you see fit. Don't forget if this reading does resonate, don't forget to support your girl by clicking like share subscribe and clicking the all option when you click the bell so you can be notified when i upload another reading all right my aquarius i hope you guys are doing beautiful and having a fabulous evening we are going to tap into the energies that is going to be coming in towards you okay so this is going to be for like my singles those of you who are not attached who's wanting to see what energies is surrounding you and what's coming in towards you so this reading is going to be all about the next three months so let's see what's coming in towards my aquarius within the next three months what's the energy calling on my ancestors and spirit guides I ask that you protect us as we go into the divination of tarot what's the energy what's the energy coming in towards my aquarius Aquarius we have the sacred woman okay so this energy is letting me know that you are respecting yourself more these days okay you have limitations you have boundaries these boundaries is all about respect okay wanting someone to come in here and treat you right love on you right okay but most of most importantly respect you my Aquarius okay because you got a lot of love to give and you don't want someone to come in and take advantage of this love you've been down that road before and you don't want that to happen again so you are are embracing you more now of these days okay so let's see nowadays is what I should say we have commitment okay so co there's commitment coming in here towards you okay I'm seeing an energy here where you are going to meet someone that is going to make you fall head over heels okay I'm seeing you dreaming about this person I'm getting an energy here my Aquarius it could be a Pisces okay that you're going to be falling in love with a water sign Pisces Cancer Scorpio is what's coming through for me but this person is going to offer you some type of commitment commitment my Aquarius let's see let's see we have the resolving conflict card coming through here as well okay so this could be someone from your past my Aquarius I'm sorry to say it but this is what's coming through in the reading I feel like someone's coming back in here towards you to resolve some kind of conflict with you my Aquarius we also have at the bottom of the deck the divine masculine coming through here so I'm definitely seeing an energy where someone's wanting to come back and resolve some issues with you okay trying to commit is the energy here this person Person realizes that they need to respect you they need to treat you right is what I'm seeing okay we do have the divine masculine showing up so I'm definitely seeing you meeting your divine counterpart is the energy here or this person's coming into an energy where they are now wanting to be this for you okay so let's see let's see that's the energy okay that's the energy that I'm getting let's see let's see seeing you resolving something with someone here my Aquarius you're going to be resolving an issue with someone in your life okay but I'm also seeing commitment for some of you it could not be um it could be that it's not a romantic interest you could be resolving conflict with someone in your life but I'm seeing it being someone from your past all right wanting to resolve something with you let's see let's see what's the energy here what's the energy coming through from my Aquarius all right, so we have the full card. Yep, the lovers. Yep, mm -hmm. We got the king of cups. Didn't I say a water sign? The four of wands, the devil card, and we got the magician. The overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the four of pentacles. Okay, so here's what I'm seeing, my Aquarius. Okay, this energy is letting me know that, you know, there's still some boundaries here, okay, within this connection. I could see someone holding back here with this four of pentacles energy. Okay, this energy is letting me know that there's some guards here. There's some barriers that needs to be torn down. And it's due to a lot of hurt. It's due to a lot of misunderstandings in this connection. It's due to, you know, you both not showing empathy towards one, one another. I'm getting an energy here where someone could be holding back because they don't want to be hurt. They don't want to be vulnerable is what I'm seeing, okay? Now, we do have here the full card. 
being clarified by the four of wands so i'm seeing an energy where someone wants to come together with you someone wants to take this new leap of faith with you i'm seeing someone wanting to return home to you my aquarius okay hopefully hoping that you will take this leap of faith with them is the energy that i'm getting here in this connection i do feel like this person can come across a little immature with this full energy okay because this is someone who takes risks and doesn't really think about what they're getting themselves into they just dive into it so it can be a little bit impulsive for this person okay to react to things so i do feel like this person is going to want to you know come in here towards you and offer you this four of wands you know this homecoming type of energy okay we also have the lovers here being clarified by the devil card i do feel a strong energy here of a soulmate tie between the two of you okay this person could be feeling like they have a strong connection with you is the energy um is what i'm getting here so this person does have a lot of love for you they do care about you but this energy is kind of you know making me feel a little bit off balance a little bit because it's kind of a codependent kind of energy energy it could come across a little toxic as well but this person seems to can't let you go is what i'm seeing okay in this connection this person wants to make it right with you it's almost like this person's coming into a space where they're realizing that they truly care about you we have the king of cups and the magician energy showing up here i feel like this person is manifesting you back into their lives okay this person is someone who could have been holding back their feelings for you or holding back their true emotions as far as expressing how they truly feel about you but i'm feeling like this person is now starting to manifest you back into their lives because they rec recognize or realize how much you mean to them with this lover's energy okay my aquarius so let's clarify these energies a little bit further so we're going to use this deck we're going to use this deck to clarify we're going to clarify what's the energy here spirit for my aquarius what is the energy here spirit for my aquarius what is the energy here? Start from my Aquarius. All right, so let's clarify. Clarify, clarify, clarify the King of Cups spirit. What's the energy behind the King of Cups? Why is the King of Cups here? Ooh, that's a lot. It fell right out. All right, that's a lot of cards. I can't take them all. Why is the King of Cups here? One card. Okay, so the Hangman. All right, so the Hangman energy is coming up with the King of Cups. So this is someone who has been holding back from you emotionally this is someone who has been contemplating on whether they should be coming come back in here towards you is what i'm seeing okay let's clarify further why is the magician card here why is the magician why is the magician energy here spirit show me the magician energy we have the page of cups they're manifesting you back into their lives the bottom of the deck is the two of cups this person wants to work things out with you this person wants to come in here towards you okay maybe not knowing how to get this started again between the two of you is what i'm seeing they want peace they want to resolve this conflict with you my aquarius clarify the full card why is the full card here spirit clarify the full card why is the full card here clarify thank you we have the moon card didn't i say pisces energy okay this person dreams about you this person thinks about you a lot all right so this person wants to take a new leap of faith with you but i feel like this person is needing the courage to face you or needing the courage to say something i'm also feeling like this person wants to offer you something strong this speaks of strength in a relationship so they want to offer you something solid here is what i'm seeing my aquarius okay clarify the lovers why is the lovers here why is the lovers here all right, so we got some cards wanting the job. So let's take this card here, the Justice card. They want to make things right with you, my Aquarius. All right, for some of you, this energy is letting me know you could be married to this person, but I'm seeing they want to balance the scales here with you, okay? The Two of Wands is letting me know this person wants to make plans with you, future plans with you, my Aquarius. Why is the Four of Wands here? Why is the Four of Wands here? Clarify the four of wands, my Aquarius. For some of you, you could have been dealing with the Libra as well with the Justice card showing up. Could be a Capricorn with the Devil card. Could be a Gemini with the Lover's energy, okay? Why is the four of wands showing up for my Aquarius? Why is the four of wands here? Why is the four of wands here? Thank you. We have the Knight of Swords. This person's going to rush in. This person's rushing in back in towards you, my Aquarius. They want to work things out with you. Okay, like I said, it's kind of like an impulsive kind of energy. So this person's going to rush in and come in towards you and hope that you're going to take a leap of faith. It's almost like an energy where this person thinks about you a lot. Okay, you're always on their mind. I'm seeing this person dreaming about you. Let's see. 
All right, so the Three of Cups is clarifying the Devil card. So this energy is letting me know this person wants to come together with you. This person wants to find balance with you is what I'm seeing. The Three of Cups could also be here. Maybe this person cheated on you in the past. It could even mean this person's leaving a third party behind, okay? But the energy is that this person wants to reconcile here. This person wants to bring balance to the connection. They want to bring peace. They want to now come in and pour into your cup. So if they weren't doing that before, they definitely want to do this now okay so let's get some more energies um for this reading what's the energy here spirit i try to go after new love guys i try but it's, it's what it is it is what it is we have religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path it's what's coming through here so this energy is letting me know okay that there's definitely someone on you know I feel like someone's becoming awakened. It's almost like a transformation happening here for someone. So someone is definitely being awakened to their spiritual path or their spiritual journey when it comes to this connection, okay? Clarify further. What other energy is coming through, okay? You guys could have been apart because your spirit angels are keeping you apart for a reason. Let's see what else is coming through here. Look at that soulmate. The lover's card. You see that at the top? The lover's card. This, yes, this is your soulmate. So this person coming back in here towards you, this person's your soulmate. Okay, this person wants to work things out with you. That's the energy that I'm feeling and I'm hearing. All right, let's see. Let's see. We have, yeah, look at this reconciliation. And then we have here release your ex coming through all at the same time. The bottom of the deck. Look at that. Didn't I say code codependency? This person has an energy where they can't release you. Okay. And I'm getting an energy. This is what I heard. Okay. It's almost like where this person with the hangman energy is deciding, do I let this go? Do I reconcile? Do I keep my person? Um, do I let this go? It's very hard for them to let it go because this person is attached to you. There's a strong connection here between the two of you my Aquarius this person can't decide what they want to do that's the energy here all right with the codependency card they're going to need to make look at that the next card very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now this person's going to have to make a decision okay because they're re they realize you're a catch that's why the sacred woman card is here. They realize you're a catch. The divine masculine energy is letting me know that compared with, um, sorry, in addition to the sacred woman card, that you are a catch. And this person needs to come into this energy and realize that, which I think they are. All right. So let's see. Let's get some more messages for you. Let's use this deck here. I want to know what is the outcome of the situation. So let's see. What's the outcome of the situation between my Aquarius and the person? What is the outcome of the situation between my Aquarius and their person? What is the outcome of the situation between my Aquarius and their person? What is the outcome of, thank you so much. We have the Four of Swords coming through here, okay? It says, just breathe is the energy. So someone definitely took a break from the situation with this Four of Swords. I feel like this person now wants to come towards you and connect with you, okay? That's what I'm seeing. The Four of Swords gives you time to think. And this is what I'm seeing happening here. It's almost like this person faced some truths here, finally, okay? Or if they were avoiding it at one point, they're definitely now, yep, look at this. The Five of Pentacles is coming through, feeling alone. This energy speaks of being rejected, okay, um, being abandoned, being left out in the cold. So my query, yes, you might not even want to work things out. And it may be due to you think that there's something better here, okay? But this person is coming back in here towards you to rebuild. This tower moment needed to happen between the two of you, my Aquarius. I feel like your spirit angels had a very strong hand in this connection, Okay, but I do feel like there was rejection here. There was definitely um, a situation where someone turned their back on the other person. It could be due to um, third party, which was showing up in the reading. It could be due to, you know, simple things as far as trust issues, things of that nature, okay, in this connection. But I'm definitely feeling like, you know, someone's definitely going to be taking the lead. No one was willing to do this before, but it's going to lead to you guys having a second chance to rebuild, okay, um, this connection together. Other. So let's get some more messages for you. Let's use the Twin Flame deck. What energy is here for my Aquarius? What energy is here for my Aquarius? What's the energy here, Spirit, for my Aquarius? Thank you. We have vibration. It says energy and positivity. Raise your vibration to attract your desire. So this person 
uh, could be manifesting you back into their lives or you could be manifesting them into your life without even knowing it. We have solitude, retreat, introspection, silence, go deep within yourself. So I was definitely seeing that with the four swords. So someone definitely took a break um, from the other person, which made the other person feel abandoned, unloved, okay, unappreciated, rejected. But someone definitely did some soul searching here is what I'm seeing, okay? So let's see, what are the messages you have, Spirit? What's the messages? We have stuck energy, we have belief, and then we have the divine feminine coming through here. So you guys could have been clashing, okay? And it could be due to, you know, different point of views or different perspectives here is what I'm seeing. I do feel like there's stuck energy between the two of you. It could be anything. It could be, you know, an actual block between the two of you. It could be because of third party. It could be because you guys are just not communicating with this stuck energy. You know, this is what's coming through. So there's definitely a block here between the two of you with the solitude and the stuck card okay so I do feel like there's some clashing here between the two of you it could be different perspectives you know maybe this person wasn't seeing your perspective in the connection all right but I'm definitely getting an energy here where this person is now wanting you back in their life my Aquarius at the bottom of the deck we have deception it says mask illusion duplicity look beyond the superficial so this person could have definitely been you know hiding some truths with you in this connection you know maybe not honest with you about some things is what I'm seeing okay maybe not showing you their true face okay this person could also have feelings for you and holding back these feelings from you as well we do have the overall energy being the four of pentacles okay which is letting me know this person could be holding back from you my Aquarius we also have here fresh start new opportunity release the past this is your second chance so there is going to be a second chance here in this connection between the two of you for you guys to come together again okay Let's get um, some messages here and then we'll close out. Let's get some more messages. Let's use this deck. Let's see. What's the energy coming through in the reading? What's the energy coming through in the reading? What's the energy coming through in the reading from Aquarius? What's the energy? What's the energy coming through in the reading? Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have, I can't believe you gave up on us. Okay, and then we also have I watch you from a distance. So this person can't believe that you walked away. Okay, my Aquarius, I do see that with the four swords energy. So this person felt rejected by you when you walked away from them. All right, this person keeps tabs on you though from a distance. We have I still have your pictures in my phone. So this person does have your pictures in their phone still. All right, this person reminisces on the past, an energy of nostalgia, okay? This person thinks about you a lot. We have here trust, is trust issues as well that's coming through here. So this connection definitely has some trust issues. We also have the distance between us is killing me. So there could be some distance in this connection between the two of you. Definitely getting that with this um, commitment card. I was seeing distance. All right, and that's some of you, not all of you, but there could be some distance here between the two of you. So that could definitely be a reason for you guys not to be connecting if there is distance because you guys are not together all the time, okay? And this is for some of you, not all of you. We also have here third party coming through here as well. So for some of you, this energy is letting me know that there was definitely a third party situation for some of you, okay, which could have caused this tower moment, okay? Maybe wanting this person to be loyal to you is the energy as well, okay? Let's see. Let's get um let's use this deck here. What is the life lesson of this person? What's the energy of this person or the karma that this person is carrying? What's the life lesson or the karma that this person is carrying? What's the energy here, spirit? All right, so this card is jumping. We have love. It says I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So this person's no learning how to be more loving in situations, learning how to understand, you know, how to give love, okay? Maybe this person didn't know how to love you the right way, okay? But this person's learning to be um more committing to relationships, especially relationships that serves their highest purpose and their highest good. All right? So let's see what your spirit angels think of this connection. What advice your spirit angels have for you? What's the advice you have for this connection, spirit? One card. One card. What advice you have from the Aquarius? Thank you. All right, so let's see what your advice is. It's up to you. So your spirit guides is telling you and letting you know it's completely up to you. All right, you decide what you want to do when this person comes in here towards you. Okay, the ball is now in your hands, though, or the ball is now in your court is how they say it. All right, so let's go ahead and close out. Let's not close out. What's our closeout energy? 
What's our closeout energy spirit? What's our closeout advice? Thank you. We have conclusions are within reach, full moon and eclipse. So there will be a definitely some conclusions brought to light here in this connection between the two of you, okay? If you feel like you're out in the dark and you don't know where you stand with this person, this person is coming back in here towards you to resolve these issues with you is what I'm seeing. The bottom of the deck, we also have a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. So I'm definitely seeing the an energy here where the scales are going to be balanced here in this connection. Let me get, um, let's use this deck to see what's the energies coming through. Three cards, what's the energies? We have Aquarius. So your energy is right off the bat coming through in the reading. Let's get two more spirit. Let's see. We have Pisces. Didn't I say water sign? Pisces and look what's coming through. Pisces energy. What else is coming through here? And then we have Sagittarius. So it could be an Aquarius, Pisces, or Sagittarius that's significant in this reading, okay? All right, my Aquarius. I love you guys to the moon and back. Till next time. Bye. I guess you're back. Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply.